Hey everyone, this is Sean from Gen4 Technology, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick run through on how you can review and back up playback on your Flux NVR or XVR. So, to get things started, let's go ahead and go over how to review playback on our Flux device. First step in doing so will be to go ahead and log into our Flux device. Once logged in, I'll show you two different routes you can follow in accessing the playback section. The first route is going to be to go ahead and select the menu icon on the left hand side and then select the playback option. The second option and the more efficient option in my opinion will be to select the playback option that's on the bottom toolbar. So let's go ahead and select that playback option on that bottom toolbar. This will prompt us to the playback section. Within this section you will find the last recorded event on your Flux device. To view previously recorded footage, simply select the date drop down option located in the top right corner of the screen and then select the date you'd like to review. In this case, let's go ahead and select the 22nd of March to review footage on that date. You will now see all of the recorded footage taking place within that date. If you'd like to review an exact time within that date, simply select the time drop down option located directly under where you selected the date and adjust the time accordingly. In this example, we will go ahead and adjust the time to 9.58 a.m. You will now see all of your channels have 9.58 as the time we are currently reviewing. There are two useful features you can find within the below toolbar within the playback section. The first is the fast forward and rewind option. This obviously allows you to rewind and fast forward the footage that you are currently reviewing, as well as the plus and minus 30 second option, which allows you to add or fast forward 30 seconds ahead via the currently playing back footage, or minus or rewind 30 seconds via the currently playing back footage. Let's go ahead and stop our playback footage. Doing so opens up the option to filter out what type of recording files we'd like to review. Located in the top right corner of the page, you'll find all of the record type options. In this example, let's go ahead and uncheck every option, excluding the motion recording option, which is represented by a yellow running person. Once all options are unchecked, excluding motion, go ahead and select the play icon. As you can see, the event bar only will display yellow, which represents motion events. This leads us to part two of the video, where we will review how to utilize the search and backup option. To get to such, go ahead and select the menu option in the bottom left corner and select the search and backup option. Within the search and backup section, you will find six options. By time sliced image, by time, by event, tag management, image management, and backup status. So let's go ahead and start off with the by time sliced image option. This section allows you to select a channel and then slice down that channel's footage from year to month to a specific day all the way down to minutes of that day. So as you can see I first select the channel I'd like to review, then select the month I'd like to review footage from, which then splits it down to days of that month, which you can then select the day you'd like to review, which then splits it down to hours, and if you select the hours you'd like, it will then split it to minutes. Next we have the buy time section. This section allows you to choose an exact date and time to review footage of one or more cameras playback on your Flux device. So, as you can see, we have three different options in filtering what playback footage we'd like to review. The first option allows us to select the type of recorded footage we'd like to review. This is not a necessity, so if left unchanged, this will pull any recorded footage within our search parameters. We then will fill in the date and time we'd like to review. Finally, we can select the channel or channels we'd like to review playback for. As you can see, this will fill in the top bar with all of the recorded footage based off the parameters we've set. 
Click on the still image of the channel to pull up and preview your recordings within the left column. If you'd like to backup footage within this section, firstly insert an external USB or hard drive to your Flux device. Then select the set backup time option and input the start and end time of the footage you'd like to backup. Once complete, select OK. Within the bottom left corner, you will now see the duration and size of your file displayed for reference. Make sure the file size displayed does not surpass the storage capability of your external USB or hard drive. Once verified, let's go ahead and select the backup option. This will pull up the record backup page. Verify your external USB or hard drive is being recognized and then create a new folder within the storage device if needed. In this example, we will create a folder named videos. We will then select the folder and finally select backup to backup our footage. Next, we have the by event tab. This section allows you to filter through your recorded footage by the different recorded options available on your Flux device. As you can see at the top of the page, you will be given the option to select or deselect the different recording options. Next, we will input the start, date, and time to the end date and time we'd like to view. And finally, select the camera or cameras we'd like to review. Once all fields are set as required, select the search option. This will populate all recording files corresponding to your set search parameters. As you can see, each file will have the option to play back and pull up the recorded video. It will also have the backup option, allowing you to backup the file to your external USB or hard drive. Next, we have the Tag Management section. As you can see, this section is currently empty. This is because we have no tags set up as of yet. In short, a tag is a marker you can set during playback to help you keep track of important events if needed. So let's go ahead and create an example tag by going back to our playback section. Simply move your mouse cursor over your recorded footage and then select the tag marker option within the bottom toolbar. Give your tag a name and then select add. Now let's go back to our search and backup section, select our tag management option, and within the tag management section, we should now see the tag that I've created. Selecting the playback option next to the tag refers you back to the playback section of that time. Next, we have the Image Management tab. This tab allows you to review any snapshots taken or scheduled on your Flux device. As you can see, each snapshot has the option to browse the snapshot taken or export it to an external USB or hard drive. And the final tab is the Backup Status tab. This tab allows you to review the status of any backups currently taking place. That wraps it up. Thanks for watching and please like, subscribe, and comment with any videos you'd like to see in the future. Take it easy and see you next time.